Hey everyone and welcome to the History Reader. In today's video I'm going to be doing one of my installments for the History Challenge and talking about some of the ways I like to consume history and learn about history that isn't reading just because we're drawing attention to history over the next couple of weeks and while history can be difficult sometimes to read it is great to consume in other mediums so that's what we're going to do today now the first one that's really obvious is obviously podcasts they've become massively popular over the last couple of years and history really has been a mainstay of the podcasting space for well over a decade Basically, since podcasts began, history podcasts have been one of the core components of uh, the, the media. And, of course, the main one there is Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. If you've heard about history podcasts at all, you probably have heard about this one. Dan Carlin is a radio presenter, or was a radio presenter in a previous life, and he does these epic multi-part episodes or multi-part series on various topics in history. Most people know him for his Blueprint for Armageddon series, which was about the First World War, and it ran to six or seven episodes, and each of them were four to six hours long. So it's like an audio book in length, and they're really, really good. He's not a historian, or he's not a, a trained historian, but he lies really close to some really cool sources and reads from them, and they're really, really interesting. So there is a public feed for that one. I think he keeps 10 or so episodes in there. And then the rest you can go and buy from his website. They're very, very cheap. They're like a dollar per episode. And they're well worth it, in my opinion. And you can get a, the Blueprint for Armageddon. You can get the whole series for like $10 or something. And it's basically an audiobook about the First World War. So that's the first one. Now there's other shows in that kind of genre of history where it's multi-part episodes, people really exploring something, sometimes a little bit obscure. Uh, there is the, the two main ones in that genre are History Impossible, which is hosted by uh, Daniele Bellelli, and there is uh, History, no sorry, History on Fire is Daniele Bellelli, and then History Impossible is a guy called uh, Alexander von Sternberg. So those are very similar. They've actually all been on each other's podcasts to just have a chat about history and history podcasting. So those are really, really excellent. Now there are also the kind of narrative histories in podcasts. So things like Mike Duncan uh, is a real stalwart of the history podcasting scene. He did the history of Rome and he did the uh, there's his new podcast is called Revolutions, where he goes through various revolutions in history and does kind of short episodes. They can be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes and just really telling the story of those revolutions. And the History of Rome one, again, was 10 to 15 minute episodes and told the story of Rome from start to finish, basically, or ancient Rome from start to finish. So those are really, really excellent. And there's a few of them out there. You can go and find the one I'm listening to one at the moment called the Red Coat History Podcast, which is about, it's a history of the Red Coats or the English army once they adopted the Red Coats fighting in various wars around the world, the colonial wars effectively. So that's another option. Then the last option, which I've been really enjoying recently, is the kind of chatty slash interview style shows so my absolute favorite history podcast at the moment and probably of all time is called the rest is history it's produced by uh, tom holland and dominic sandbrook who are two historians who i've read uh, several books from and they're basically it's middle-aged english men talking about history but in the best way possible it, they touch all sorts of topics they've done sherlock holmes recently they've done exams recently the berlin wall the enlightenment uh they did the olympic games and that was on so really taking these nuggets from history and exploring them and it's not too serious uh, it's quite fun the episodes come out every monday and thursday 
and they run to about an hour long and they're really really good they often have uh guests on so they've had ian kershaw they did a couple of episodes on hitler they had ian kershaw on they had stephen fry on a while ago to talk about mythology so it really really is an excellent show and it's taking the, the history podcasting world a little bit by storm the other ones is the history hit network of podcasts so dan snow's history hit is the main one where it's dan snow and he interviews kind of anyone he he interviews people who are, have recently released a book or are a specialist in a particular field um, and there's been a whole range of stuff on there it like goes from ancient history all the way up to very very modern history and goes into really obscure things sometimes really big themes and there's a new episode of that every single day at least monday to friday maybe on the weekends as well there's also a network of shows that are history hit shows so there is the ancients which is about ancient history there's gone medieval which is about medieval history of course uh, there is there are others and they're not coming to mind i listen mainly to history hit and gone medieval i have listened to several of the ancients as well so those are the podcasts that i would recommend that's what i have for today I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back really soon with an update on my reading. I've nearly finished the first book for the History, uh, the History Challenge, and I have received another book which I'm going to read next for it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.